Look at how yummy it looks. Hey guys, welcome back to Milk Answers, and today we're making South Asian yummy, delicious pasta. So let's get right on to the video. Here are the main ingredients. First, we have four cups of pasta. There we go. And then here we have two medium tomatoes cut up. Here we have two medium onions cut up. And here we have four garlics. And there we have some water boiling to put to cook the pasta. So let's go ahead and add the pasta in the water. Add one teaspoon of salt in the boiling water. Add one teaspoon of oil. Pasta. Now we're going to let the pasta boil. In the meanwhile, let's make the gravy. Add two tablespoons of oil in another bowl. And the second tablespoon. Shred the garlics. Now we're gonna add our two medium onions cut up into here. The pasta is also boiling there. Now add 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric and mix. So as you can see the onions are sauteed and it's kind of like jelly and like it kind of has like an oily texture look to it. It's because we sauteed it for some time so that's how it should look. And then add your turmeric. Now add your tomatoes. I add two teaspoons of salt. One and a half teaspoon of chili powder. Mix. The pasta is done. Now we're gonna turn off the stove. Here's how the pasta looks like. And now we're gonna drain all the water out. So we drained out all the hot water and we washed it with cold water to prevent it from becoming more soft. And then we drained the cold water. Now we're gonna add some oil. So cook it until this gravy kind of like sticks together and all the water is evaporated and it's kind of like a thick consistency. So this is how it should look like, nice glossy gravy. So now we're gonna take this, all of this gravy and put it in a bowl. And then we're gonna use the same pan to make our next step. Now we're gonna add two teaspoons of butter and let it melt. So now uh, put your flame on medium heat. And now we're gonna add three tablespoons of flour. This is maida, or you can also add all purpose. I'm adding maida. Now roast it. it should look something like this. So it should look nice and roasted. Now we're going to add three cups of milk. a little, little milk and uh, make sure there's no lumps. Mix it until there's no lumps and add just a little, little milk. If you add a lot, then it won't be as easy to mix. So we mix. I mixed it till there was no more lumps. And as you can see, there's no more lumps. It's just very li now liquidy. Now we're gonna add one by eight teaspoon of pepper. Add one fourth teaspoon of salt and mix. So now the liquid, after we cooked it for five, four to five minutes, it's become more creamier and like thick. So now we're going to add our gravy that we made from earlier. Now add your pasta and mix. 
do it slowly so that you don't spill any gravy and so that each all the pasta gets the gravy. It smells really good. Just like that. So now it looks like this. Now we're gonna turn off the stove and it's done. So now it's done, look at how yummy it is. It just smells really good. So now let's taste it. That tastes so good. It's so full of flavors and the heat and the flavors just mix in and mash. Oh my goodness, this is like, this is better than mac and cheese in my opinion because it has so much more flavors than mac and cheese and we didn't even use cheese, so it's yummy. So thank you so much for watching this recipe and you have to try it. I guarantee you, you will love this type of pasta forever because this is now on my new favorite pasta list. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below if you tried it and if you had the same experience as me. Amazing. And that's pretty much for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye!